The first of three days of memorial ceremonies for former First Lady Rosalind Carter will start. Chrissy Diaz joining us now live from Georgia's Southwestern State University in Americas, where the first of many ceremonies will take place later this morning. That is a very special place there, Christy. Good morning, Aisha. Yeah, this is her alma mater. Rosalind Carter graduated from here in 1946, and now two buildings on campus bear her name. Now, there in front of those buildings, there is a bronze statue of Mrs. Carter, one that she actually protested them putting up. But it is here that they will lay two wreaths today in her honor. Long before she reached the White House, Mrs. Carter ventured into politics right here on the Georgia Southwestern campus. Vice president of her class and founding member of the Young Democrats Club, Rosalind Smith was an active student until she graduated with a junior college diploma. She reminisced on her school days during the dedication of the Rosalind Carter Health and Human Sciences Complex in 2013. I rode a railway bus to from planes back and forth every day. Um, a friend picked me up at the bus station and brought, we came to the college together. 30 years later, she'd become First Lady of the United States, but she never forgot her alma mater, often returning for events and awards. When she and President Carter left the White House, her work and legacy followed her home. I remember appearing before the board to get these two buildings on the list. Never did I dream that they would bear my name. In 1987, she founded the Rosalind Carter Institute for Caregivers and took a quietly suffering issue nationwide. CEO Dr. Jennifer Olson. We've directly served tens of thousands of caregivers, training and education. A few years ago, we made a decision to go national, so to take what we were learning in our Georgia backyard and share that, to use her unique platform uh, to speak to federal policymakers and employers to say we all have a role in supporting caregivers. Now, as the campus prepares to lay wreaths at her feet. Rosalind's legacy lives beyond the name and building to something more. This place is more than buildings. This place was named for a special woman. And so this place will reflect more than a name. It will reflect a spirit, the spirit of Rosalind Carter, a spirit that embodies everything that is good about being human. A condolence book will be located inside this building behind me for people on campus and the public to come and sign through Wednesday. Now behind this building right behind me is the Rosalind Carter Institute for Caregivers, which she founded. Coming up in the next half hour, you'll hear much more about her personal connection to caregiving and how that inspired the creation of the Institute.